Hey guys, uh, David with Twice Diecast. Got a fun one for you today. My buddy Laz in the UK with Lazalo's Customs. Uh, and I did a build off of the Fiat Abarth that you're looking at right now. I think he had the one on the left. Mine was the one on the right. It was the Alitalia livery. Mine was uh, not in as good a condition as this one. And unfortunately, somehow I have lost all the pictures of mine before I began to do my custom. So I thought you'd uh, be interested in seeing what I came up with. Laz's link will be uh, for his will be in the description below. This is after I've gotten the paint off and just typical getting all the paint off. I tried something new. I tried to do the sand and polish technique that I learned from these two guys, uh, Dotson Man Diecast and Derek at Honest Diecast. You just take sandpaper of varying grits and uh, get it finer and finer and make it a polished metal. Here it is with the interior taken out. I painted it black, it was red. Then it was time to start polishing. I got out the Dremel and used some car wax as well as these uh, wheels and started getting there. Uh, it was a long process, a lot of sanding and probably as you can see made a lot of progress but didn't get it exactly where i wanted but it was a good first effort so this is what it looks like when you get the casting all polished then i started scraping off some of the black paint that i had on the rear body panel to do the rear lamp detail and this is what we came up with okay so i put it off long enough here is the final product here is the fiat Abart, and I tried the polishing technique that Dotson Man Diecast and Mark, excuse me, Dotson Man Diecast and Derek at Honest Diecast uh, showed in the tutorials, and I will link those in the video, or excuse me, in the description of this video. So on this one, it's pretty much just a polished bare metal um this is the old matchbox you can see right there the front came already painted from matchbox i have added a custom license plate and stripped all the paint did all the sanding and polishing that you saw and i'll have some progress pics in this video as well had to paint the inside of the windscreen the glass uh, just because it was a orange color. I hate that. Painted the interior black, even though you can't really see it that well. Um, re did remove the two front door glass pieces. Uh, that was glass before. Added some green light wheels. Because this casting is a little bit bigger, I added them off of a Ford Explorer and they seem to fit just fine. I didn't do anything to that grill coming around on this side. Just a lot of sanding, polishing, adding wheels. Uh, did a offset license plate. I've seen that on some custom vehicles. Uh, painted the back panel. It's supposed to be a matte black, but it came out a little bit more gloss, maybe because of the clear coat. And I did the light scheme just like it is on the real vehicle. And I don't know if you can tell, but I tried the method of scraping the black paint off of the lights and leaving the bare metal. Andrew at Maple Leaf Matchbox Makeovers has been talking about that method. I've been itching to try it. That is not chrome paint. That is actually just me taking an X-Acto and scraping off the paint where it was painted. It does, it seems to give me a lot more accurate area uh, of clean paint or clean metal that I probably would not have been able to duplicate just with a freehand paint. So Laz, I hope you like it. This is the, I guess it's the Zamac Fiat Rally vehicle. And I like how it came out, back wheels roll, Front ones do not, just because of the modifications I had to do to get them to fit. Um, I like the polished look. This one probably could have been a little bit more polished. 
but I do like how this one came out. I'll keep this custom gladly. And I've got some glamour shots. If you hang around for a little bit further in this video, thank you for everyone who contributed, including making tutorials and issuing the challenge labs, as well as other techniques that I've picked up along the way from all you guys who are out there customizing. Really appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by today. Hope you enjoy the rest of the pics. Take care. Have a good weekend.